On this video, I'm going to show you how to cook eggs in your microwave. Well, hi folks, it's Mike with Kitchen Tips Online, the place where the smartest people on YouTube come to learn new kitchen tips and tricks to help them save time and money in the kitchen. And if you are someone who likes to learn new and interesting ways to do things in the kitchen, well, I invite you to subscribe. I'll bet you didn't realize that the container that you cook eggs in, in the microwave matters, also where you put the container in the microwave matters. Let me explain. Those of you who are regular subscribers might remember from our perfect baked potato in a microwave video how microwaves actually cook. And for those of you who haven't seen that video, we'll put a link to that video at the end of this video so you can check it out. If you saw the video, you learned that microwaves do not cook from the inside out contrary to popular belief. So without going into a lot of details, you should appreciate that cooking eggs spread out in your microwave is better than cooking eggs in a deep dish container, like a mug. Spreading the eggs out in a pie dish like this will result in better scrambled eggs for you. Plus, they'll cook quicker. You want to put the pie dish in your microwave offset so that it is not directly in the center. Let me show you why. If your microwave has a rotating tray, it is likely that just above the ceiling in your microwave, you have a metal blade known as the stirrer blade. And believe it or not, this metal blade actually bounces the microwave radio wave away from the center of the tray. The result could be undercooked eggs in the center. If that happens, all you need to do is stir up the eggs and put them back in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Now let's make some scrambled eggs with sweet bell peppers. And by the way, that's salsa on the side. We'll begin by using this vegetable chopper to chop up our bell pepper into little tiny cubes. Since eggs cook very fast in a microwave, we need to pre-cook our bell peppers. This would be the time if you wanted to add a little bit of onion, this would be the time to add it so you can pre-cook it in the microwave. We'll put this mixture in a microwave safe dish, add a little bit of butter, and cook them in the microwave for about one minute. Next, we'll add three eggs to a bowl, mix it up with some half and half. For those folks who want to add a little bit of spice, like Louisiana hot sauce or sriracha sauce, now would be the time. Before we put the eggs in the pie dish, we're going to put it in the microwave with a couple of pads of butter for about 15 or 20 seconds. Then we want to make sure it completely covers the bottom of our pie dish so our eggs don't stick. We're not going to put the bell pepper in with the eggs at this time. We're going to put just the eggs in the microwave for about two and a half minutes. We'll cover the pie dish with a microwave food cover so it doesn't splatter. And by the way, folks, you should never, ever cook anything in your microwave oven unless it's covered. Otherwise, it could wind up looking like this. For those folks who want to get one of these microwave food covers, we have them in our Amazon affiliate store, along with the chopper that we used earlier. And we'll put a link to the store in the video description. The amount of time you put on the microwave timer depends on the power of your microwave. For the first go around, my microwave was two and a half minutes. Then I took the eggs out of the microwave, added the cooked bell peppers along with some cheese, salt, and pepper. 
Then stir everything up real well and put it back in the microwave for about two minutes. Once again, the amount of time that you put on your control will depend on the power of your microwave. Now, you may not know this, but microwave power diminishes with age, especially if you cook a lot of popcorn. When you take your eggs out of the microwave, you're going to notice a little bit of moisture in the pie dish. Do not put the eggs back in the microwave trying to cook that moisture away, because if you do, you're definitely going to dry out your eggs. Let's go ahead and put some of these scrambled eggs on a plate and add some cheese and salsa. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can have a close-up look. And I assure you folks, they are as delicious as they look. Now let's cook some sunny side up eggs and four pieces of bacon in the microwave in about five minutes. Those folks who are regular subscribers already know that the best way to cook bacon in a microwave is to definitely not use paper towel. Now for those folks who have not seen our video on the best way to cook bacon in a microwave, we'll put a link to that video at the end of this video so you can check it out. By not using paper towels, we wind up with a huge advantage for cooking eggs. And that's because we're going to cook our eggs in the bacon fat just like we would if we were cooking them in a frying pan. Once the bacon has finished cooking in our microwave, we'll take it out and drop a couple eggs into the bacon fat. That allows us to cook the eggs in one minute, plus it gives us that added bacon fat flavor. After one minute in the microwave, let's have a look at our sunny side up eggs. Mm -mm -mm. Well, there you go, folks. Now you know how to make bacon and eggs sunny side up in a microwave in about five minutes. And if you think we did a good job on this video, a thumbs up would certainly be appreciated. Thank you very much. And if anyone would like to take a stab at how we did the camera in the microwave, let us know in the comment section and I'll tell you if you get it right. Thanks for watching.